It yeah. is good, Brother Paul, to be here at the Pool of Siloam with all the group here. And of course, we have two that are afraid to come on this side. <laughs> It's okay, we'll put their picture in the video to where you'll have, and they don't know what we're going to put in there yet, Brother Paul. Okay. That's all right. Um, one of the things I find so fascinating about the Pool of Siloam is when Jesus actually takes the blind man, he does everything that was contrary to Jewish custom. He spits on the ground and makes a mud cake with his spit. And the Jews are big into hygiene, as you guys have seen down right. at the hotel. They wash their hands all the time. This is Talmudic tradition. It's not biblical tradition. So they were always doing this. And so one of the things was, is that he did something that was considered unsanitary. Okay. Right? Yeah, in public. In public. Yeah. And he spits in there. He makes this cake. And then he tells the blind man, come to the pool of Siloam. This is the water right here that we're at. This water here. And he tells him to wash his eyes in there. And a lot of people have always thought that when he came to the Pool of Siloam, that there's something magical about the water. But it's not that. Everything that Jesus was doing, Yeshua, that he was doing, was signs to show the Jewish people that he was Mashiach. Amen. He was the Son of God. Because in the Christian Bible, we read that everything that there was he created everything and all things that exist were created by him and for him so in that case there he was the one that was instrumental in the creation of adam and eve or mankind when god first formed adam and eve was formed as well when the rib was taken out or the side and he didn't say that's not actually a rib but he formed them and so what was he doing by taking the clay and putting it on his eyes he was showing that he was there in the beginning when Adam was formed. And again, with the clay, that he could give sight to the blind just by forming it. And then he washed his eyes. He was a creative miracle. I mean, and, and who knows how the guy, why he was blind? Was it because his eyes were deformed? Or was it, you know, was it just, I don't know. Right. But it's interesting to see that he actually forms that clay on his eyes and he tells him to wash. And this is what so many people have missed, but it's what, for Jewish people, these are the things that make us think and start to say, maybe he is Messiah, right. which I know he is, but maybe he is, because then we start seeing everything line up with the Word of God. What's and, your and, and well, my thought is that God made man from the dust of the ground. Yes. He said, let us make man in our image yes. and our likeness, which means God the Father, Jesus, Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit, you know, the Trinity of, of God, the Godhead, were all involved in the very early creation. That's right. And then, so Jesus does it once again to prove the creative miracle, as you say. It That's should right. be a sign, it, sh it is a sign of the, who he really was, the divinity of Christ. Exactly. And, uh, but the healing didn't come except a man be obedient to the word. Exactly. If he doesn't go to the pool of Siloam, he wouldn't have got his he, sight back. You know. So even when Jesus reveals Himself to us, if we don't follow it, if we don't, you know, if we don't step into that faith, yes. we miss it. We miss the miracle. We miss it all. Amen. That's right. exactly right. That's pretty awesome.